Okay, I want to take a look at drawing on your iPad with Adobe Draw. So I come on in and I'm going to launch Adobe Draw. Now, what happens with Adobe Draw is you get the, this app just as part of paying for the Adobe software. So I really like this app quite a bit. You can see I have different things organized, some projects in progress. Now, what's really wonderful as well is you can send your Adobe Draw file directly to Illustrator which I'll show you how to do. Now, what I want to do, I'm just going to open up, I'm going to start a new project. You can see I have all these here, just ignore what I have. Um, and I'm going to hit plus to open it up. Now, I have all these different choices. I'm going to start with the iPad landscape. Okay, I want to go for the one with the most pixels. As I look around that one, I'm liking it. Actually, I'm going to go for the iPad Pro landscape. And I click and there I have it. Now. I want to give you an overview of these tools and I'm working with the Apple Pencil here. So I start each one as I come on in and I click onto it, uh, I can see that I have the size, right? So I can make the size larger. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking, you put your finger down and moving it around. I have my pencil moving it around. I have the opacity. So again, holding down, I can lower the opacity of it, up the opacity. And I also have the color. Now I can click on in. I can choose a different color. I can move this around. I can pull this on up and choose whatever color it is that I'd like to work with. All right, so I'm going to go for like this color right in here and I'm going to click and move around. So I can see that this mark right here um, has a certain kind of look. Now I'm going to undo this and I undo and keep going back. What I want to show you is you can come around and close it on in and closing your shape and click in the center and the shape should fill. Okay, and there we go. So it fills. So I'm going to try that one more time so I can come on in, come on up, pull it on down and click and it fills. Okay, so I just want to do a stroke with this. Now what's great about the Apple Pencil too is it's responsive so I can lift up and push down and get a different kind of stroke. Okay, excellent. Let's move on. Let's take a look at our next one. This one is like a brush. Now, again, I click and I have it cut set at this color. Whatever was the last one that we had set is what's gonna be there. Now I'm gonna actually do another line. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna push down, pull up, push down. So we can see this one is much more like a brush. Okay, so we can treat that one a lot more like a brush. So again, I can, move it around, come on through. Again, I can close this shape as well, come on into the center and fill it in. Now, when you fill it in, it doesn't really matter what the strokes look like, um, but even you know, I could come around and leave an opening in the center. Um, and again, if we think about taking a brush and pushing a brush down, oops, pushing a brush down, lifting a brush up, pushing a brush down, lifting a brush up so this one feels a lot more like a brush and there it is it is a brush okay beautiful moving to our next one I'm gonna click again again I have the opacity way down I'm gonna up the opacity and I'm gonna change the color to go more with like the colors that I'm working with and again I'm gonna draw similar kinds of shapes so we get the sense and with this one you know this one's much more and they, they they look a lot like the shape that they are so it's like a charcoal pencil uh, not per se or like a some kind of squared uh, piece of chalk uh, although it doesn't look like chalk but it would apply in the same way or even like a square pencil any kind of square or something but again as we push down it gets thicker we can light we can lift up and again with the push our iPad Pro is responsive in that way I can come on in one more time. I can move this around. Again, I can close my shape, click in the center, and it will fill. Uh, but I don't always need to do that as well. I can just come on in and working with my brush, seeing what it turns up like. Okay, moving on to my next one. Let's take a look at this one. So I click. Some of them are a little bit similar. Now this one um, has that edge to it. Um, so we can come in again pushing down and seeing what we have. Again with this one, drawing a similar kind of shape. When I do the fill, uh, it doesn't look much different, but we can get this sense. 
and we can keep moving. Then we have our last shape. Let's just take a look. Now again, this one is thicker, not because of the type it is. It's thicker because of the size that it's set to. This one's set to 30. Um, and it's set to that color. Again, I can come in, do the shape moving around. Uh, so much depends on how we push with this brush and how we move things around. There we have it. Now, our last one, which is really important, is our eraser. We click onto our eraser. We can get the size of our eraser. Okay, and let's take a look. So I can come in, I can erase this. I can erase, erase, erase. And I can also make my eraser smaller. Right, I can come in and, okay. I'm gonna go even smaller. Let's go down to like, So I can come in and really work however it is that I want to work, even just, you know, like scratch into the surface and work with the image. All right, so there is a quick and easy overview. Another thing I want to show you is, you know, we can organize things out into layers. So we can add another draw layer and move things on through. There we have it. Again, biggest thing is we have one, two, three, four, six different kinds of tools that we can work with as we draw. And we have our eraser. We can choose, as we choose our tools, we can choose any color that we'd like to choose. And we can also work with the opacity and the size and erasers. And there we have it. In the next video, I'm gonna show you a drawing project, how I go about approaching a drawing project inside uh, on my iPad working with Adobe Draw. Thanks so much.